This is Phoenix, and I'm going to read from my newly released book, In the Garden of Evil, which is a dark fantasy borderline horror um, epic novel. I'm going to read near the beginning, a uh, scene with Benjamin and the devil, um, and the first book from which I'll be reading from is called Dissension, which is about Adam's corruption and degradation and the process of corruption, among other things. If you like what you hear, you can find this book on Amazon. Uh, just Google or just Am just search for um, In the Garden of Evil by Phoenix, and it should pull up. So without further ado, I'm going to dive right in. Lucifer got out of the car, began to walk to the front of the house he had stopped at. Yes, he was the devil, just not the devil that people had always imagined him to be. Deceit was one of his games, though. Lucifer couldn't be his true form in front of people because they would know who they were really talking to. Not until things began to percolate could Lucifer reveal himself. Lucifer disguised himself as a 30-year-old man, wickedly good-looking, of course, with short brown hair and intense eyes. He wore a dress shirt and slacks, as well as dress shoes. To maintain the impression, Lucifer wore expensive cologne. Lucifer was going to meet a man named Benjamin Streck. By day, Benjamin was a valuable employee at a business, the details of which were unimportant. By night, however, Benjamin was a robber, rapist, serial killer. Benjamin had never been caught before because, as Lucifer knew, Benjamin was extraordinary at outsmarting the police. After a moment's pause to savor the energy that Benjamin released, Lucifer knocked on the door. He waited patiently, his heart beating a little faster from anticipation, when Lucifer sensed Benjamin was almost there. A second later, later Benjamin opened the door. His eyes looked so compassionate, but to Lucifer, who could look through the eyes and see right into the soul, he knew what he was getting into the very moment their vision collided. Hello, are you Benjamin Streck? Lucifer asked genially. Yes, Benjamin said, working too hard to maintain his innocence. I received from a source that will remain unknown that you are seeking a business partner right now. A business partner? For what? You know, for your nightly escapades. I don't know what you're talking about, Benjamin said. Lucifer smiled easily. You don't have to hide your secret from me. Secret? What secret are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about, Benjamin. I know all about your nightlife. I know the crimes you've committed. You've got the wrong person, Benjamin said, guilt beginning to crease his face, Benjamin flicking it off as fast as it had come. That was fine. Let him try to hide it, hide his soul. Benjamin shut the door, but Lucifer put out his hand and kept the door open. As Lucifer expected, Benjamin didn't fight meaning Benjamin saw something in Lucifer, something too tempting to resist. Would it be too much trouble for you to get me a cup of coffee? Lucifer asked, after which we can discuss what I'm talking about. Benjamin hesitated as though everything in his mind screamed that this was a bad idea. However, he opened the door and said, okay, come inside. Lucifer stepped inside the house, admiring the evil that resonated in the walls, enjoying every sensation it gave. Lucifer was going to be leaving here, with Benjamin's servitude. Lucifer sat down and made himself at home. Not too long after that, Benjamin came in with a steaming cup of coffee. Lucifer took a sip, then said, Now, I know you don't like business partners that are also control freaks. I know that early in your career you had one, but he was domineering and never let you do the liberating things that you do now. But I must be blunt. I crave friction in partnerships. A little hostility every now and then never hurt anybody. You know what I'm saying? Sounds like a recipe for disaster, Benjamin said. Then quickly, to get back into the, his innocent alter ego, I just mean for any kind of work. Lucifer nodded, smiling internally. Benjamin wanted to reveal his true nature, still struggling with it. However, if you decide to work with me, I promise I will keep myself under your control as much as my ego and intentions can allow. Lucifer took another sip, and Benjamin said, I still don't know what you're talking about. It must get lonely, keeping all of your deeds to yourself, Lucifer said, sighing thoughtfully. But let's face it, someone was bound to catch up with your genius sooner or later. Well, thanks for the compliment, but I'm not a criminal, as you seem to be insinuating. Besides, with anything I do, I work alone. Experience has taught me one has to be independent. Yes, but there are restrictions to doing your kind of work alone. You've never experienced the thrill of committing crime next to someone that enjoys it as much as you. It's something you'd have to feel to understand. Granted, you've had a partner, but there wasn't any chemistry there to kindle excitement. 
I, however, can promise that we have chemistry. Benjamin, still struggling with wanting to reveal his true nature, he finally said, How many people have you killed? More than you know, Lucifer said confidently, still thinking. Then Benjamin said as he stood up, I still don't know what you're talking about. Get out of my house and don't come back or I'll call the police. Lucifer stood up, still holding the coffee cup. He reached into his pocket with his left hand and pulled out a card with his phone number on it and two intertwining snakes. He handed it to Benjamin, who took it, studied it. Well, think about it, Lucifer said, walking to the door, opening it. Never know what good opportunities you're turning down. Lucifer stepped outside. Before Benjamin closed the door, he gave one last glance at Lucifer, as though he saw something he wanted, wanted desperately. Then he shut the door. Lucifer turned away, went back to his car. Out of all the souls the devil had scavenged, Benjamin came closest to possessing the trait that Lucifer needed. As he started the car, he couldn't help but muse at how perfect Benjamin was going to be. Uh, I hope you enjoyed what you heard, and again, you can find the book on Amazon. Uh, this is Phoenix, and I appreciate your time. Thanks.